portion. And as we can see here, the posterior one portion has a lot of lipid droplets, uh, and when compared to the A233, these have less droplets, but the droplets are still present. Okay. Uh, through our research, we found we immediately found the discrepancy without, throughout the midgut uh, in the gene uh, tagliface, which was expressed throughout the whole midgut, but it was mostly expressed in the posterior one in, in G region, and we were really interested in the anterior to the three region, which is where the gene is mostly focused. So we were wondering why there was such a big discrepancy. Uh, like our model organism that we studied is the Mikel of Sakla. And um, we found that there are four different tagline cases present in the, the Mikel. And since they're similar in nature, we thought that they would be highly expressed in the same region. Um, so our question was which region would all four uh, like cases would be highly expressed? We're choosing the Jusalka is basically because um, they're model organisms. And um, what model organisms are are basically organisms that share similar biological processes uh, with humans. We actually chose to do this based off the names. Um, so we were actually looking into an article of how genes get their names, specifically in Drosophila, and we came across this um, family of Halloween genes. And so we thought it was something interesting to look into, and then we were able to actually create our project based on it. Okay, so we actually did expect um, the opposite of what we found, which is kind of interesting. Um, since they are all within the same gene family, we expected them to have like similar expressions across the gene regions, but we found the opposite. Uh, so this can be like charted here. They kind of have an inverse uh, expression within like, the regions. Uh, so it's pretty interesting to be proven wrong, I guess. <laughs>